Um, obviously the focus that we actually had to start off with was oxygen, which we've got down the bottom, uh, water, which we've generated the water, um, and our food. <laughs> And g'day, welcome um, for this session on uh, oxygen's not included with the oil upgrade, um, starting a brand new series. So obviously we'd have a lot of people watching this that have watched a lot of oxygen or played a lot of Nox oxygen not included. And, um, and I've actually certainly watched the videos to, to get to, to where I am now. There's an amazing amount of uh, support out there for the game. It is just a fun game. So what I've decided to do is actually with the, the new patch, start a brand new series um, but starting from the basics of a setup um, I found with some of the videos I was watching they were so advanced and they were so intricate um, because it does have a steep learning curve that I have had over a couple of weeks so I'm going to start a brand new game I'm going to do this series over around about five to six weeks and then we should have a new update and then I'll continue the series with the new update focusing on just the update features so sit back enjoy um, for those that are also new to Oxygen Not Included, which I hope there's a few people here, because I will be going through the basic startups that I learnt, um, just to get me going. Um, so enjoy, so let's start a brand new game. And welcome back. Okay, so we've just uh, had that load up, and we've got our three uh, duplicates that we can pick from. So we've got, obviously, Stinky, the chef, who's a little bit squeamish, um, but cannot perform aid. We've got Marie, the miner, uh, plus six to digging and four to immunity. And we've got a level 7 runner, uh, 7 to athletics and 5 for cooking. A little bit flatulent, so he's just going to go around stinking up the air a bit. Um, mouth breeder, ooh, consumes a little bit more oxygen. Maybe, maybe not. Also looking at the things such as the stress relief. Obviously with the stress relief it's a vomiter, rather dis destructive. Now for me personally, um, and I'm sure once again a lot of people have their own opinions and what they like, is... Um, I find the destructive can be, as it says, a little bit destructive um, as he goes around breaking all your equipment. With the vomiter, yes, you've got a little bit of clean up, um, but we can certainly have a look at that. Um, I'm actually going to reshuffle some of these because what I found as starting up a, uh, a colony for the first time, um, I certainly found that having... Um, that having someone with a science background uh, definitely helped. Um, so what I'm actually going to do here, I'll keep the ones that have got immunity because that will actually help with the disease. And I'm actually going to um, shuffle, let's say the, uh, we've got the cooking, we've got the immunity, we're going to shuffle this one here. Uh, technician, so for learning. Um, yes, uh, Adam may sleep anywhere, but we might uh, just shuffle again and see if we can get something uh, just uh, a little bit better than four. I do like the four learning. Okay, so we've got a loud sleeper, not a problem. <laughs> if we'll just keep this snorer and uh, put them south else. Stress on is an ugly uh, crier. Um, it won't be pretty, <laughs> okay. Um, but we've got five learning and they're a center, uh, scientist, level five scientist. Um, all right, so we'll give that uh, uh, a go. Let's uh, the scientific dystopia. Um, we're going to call it the YouTube dystopia. Uh, we're not doing any product placement here. We're just putting out. So let's start this one, and let's start our uh, our look. And here we are to our colony. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to do a heap of um, uh, these tutorials. And I sort of want, and I do want to do the tutorials around about 30 minutes, not tutorials, these episodes around about 30 minutes. Um, and then we'll uh, try and release one every day or every couple of days as we come up to the six weeks and actually build this as part of the actual, uh, the all upgrade. So let's get into it. Let's have a quick look around what we've got here. So we've got some breathable oxygen. We've got a decent amount of oxygen there, a little bit of oxygen there. Two nice um, uh, pools of, of water. Um, another nice liquid pool at the at the top um, and some really nice oxygen uh, at the top here so I can't actually sort of see the oil we've got some uh, consumable or here for the coal some really good oxygen here as I said so which is self-breathing um, 
some polluted water here so we'll make sure we keep it separated um, haven't found the gas mixtures yet um, but we'll see how it goes so once again so as part of the startup obviously um, and once again this is really catered to beginners um, so as part of the startup the three focuses um, that are really the core focuses are oxygen food and water um, might seem super basic um, but just keep equal the, equally any of those in balance. So obviously you do start off with a little bit of food, um, but we're actually going to start building into this area here. Um, I'm thinking I may use the opportunity uh, with the pools. We'll definitely do some swapping of, uh, of liquids here uh, in the growth, but I'm going to build out to the left. Um, I'm going to tap into these areas and certainly use these um, uh, these oxalites uh, as much as possible just on the fact that they're generating the oxygen that we have there and at the moment when I look at my reports um, obviously I'm not generating the oxygen um, but certainly the oxalites are okay so let's start our first lot of digging as we move into our work colony So that's then we've also got a little bit of food here um, we'll dig away but I do want to maximize these big open areas that we've got we've got some really nice big open areas here and here um, that will work out well um, and some nice areas here as I said we'll keep this water as a basin this is definitely going to um, <laughs> and we've already found our our first little So this thing just buries itself and eats and, and drops coal. So it's not going to attack your, as much as it's got the big teeth, it doesn't at attack your colonists. And let's just speed this up so we can actually get the guys uh, in there. So once again, hitting G, we're just going to build a little bit more as we go into, into here. Throw some tiles on the bottom as we extend out. We do want to get down to this water as soon as possible because we'll actually need it. So we're now actually going to build, um, start building down. All right, so now that we'll actually start doing some building. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just build some storage. And this will just be temporary storage, but at least it means that uh, they can start putting some of the things into their storage container. And we're actually going to put everything in there. Alright, the next bit I'm going to build, there we go, and I'm just going to build the water down into the water so we can actually use and access this water. Then I'm actually going to start building this way into this uh, area here. One, two, three, four. As much as I don't want to... I want to one, two, three, four. I want to sort of have four spaces, and that will allow most of the major things to um, uh, to actually build within that area. So we've got allowed. We've got the snorer. I forgot about Joshua and the snoring. So as you can see, Stinky's uh, affected by the uh, the snoring. 
this is it is such a fun game and it has hours and hours of playability if you've not downloaded it or you've just started it um, you're, you're in for a treat um, I am new to the game um, but and a lot of these tips are actually going to hopefully come with how it's helped me because it does have a steep learning curve Okay, so now with this area here, it's not the most ideal place that I wanted to, um, so need to actually um, park ourselves a toilet, so under, oh, what's he doing down there? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's throw ourselves a toilet down there, so just an outhouse. Um, and that's just going to stop an accident from happening. Now, as much as it's easy to sort of be on the uh, the faster grade, um, you just need to keep in mind that whilst you're not um, whilst you're not building and you're letting it go, time does go very very quickly. So you'll see when you're watching a lot of these YouTube videos, um, a lot of the presenters are just going super quick so just be careful there we've already had our first mistake um, someone's actually uh, uh, used the toilet so simply hit M and tidy it up as quickly as possible the longer you leave it there um, it's actually going to start polluting the um, the water okay so we'll get on that as quickly as possible and we'll start getting ready to sort of dump some of that water so the next thing we want to do is actually now start putting in some accommodation. Um, so they've got some where to sleep. So I'm actually going to build up and I'm going to start building the accommodation. Um, so it's up here. Um, all right, I've only got two. I really didn't want to eat into this uh, this oxygen, um, but I am going to do it. So let's build up. As you can see, the storage is actually uh, filled up quite quickly, so we'll do make build a couple more storage containers. Okay, so click on the storage containers, then you can actually pick what you want to store in it. In this case here, I'm just going to store everything. And then once we've sort of established a little bit of the, the colony, um, we can then uh, change the settings and, and obviously store certain certain materials in certain, certain lots. Okay, the main one is actually sort of just uh, setting a, up a couple of areas. Now, probably one of the, the faults that I've done here in this build is the fact that I've got now all my ores dropping into the water. So it's probably not the most ideal situation. Um, you've got them actually sort of picking up and keeping the place clean. You need to make sure that you do keep your areas clean, like most uh, city builders and that. If not, it will actually create uh, po po pollutants. So now we're actually gonna start building into the side, and this is where we're actually gonna put the, um, the accommodation to start off with. So, to start off with, it's going to be, if you make a mistake like that, simply hit the C key, which is the default, and then you can actually delete. Um, G will help you actually do your, your digging. So they're just doing a bit of a sweep at the moment to actually start tidying out places. By pressing 9, you can actually see um, sort of the areas of concern. So nine will actually tell you where your germs are at the moment. 
uh, and there's a couple of things that you can actually use to make sure that you tidy up. So for instance, I've got germs in my storage compactor here, which would be the soil. So make sure you get the disinfectant, which is the I key, and just keep those clean, those um, those areas tidy uh, and um, less balloon. Now, as much as I will, and I do want to use this um, polluted water, um, because of the amount of slime that's around there at the moment, um, I will keep my distance from this polluted water. So we do a little bit more uh, disinfectant in here, just to tidy it up as well. So know your keys, because they come very handy. So F1, which will give you your oxygen. Remembering at the moment, I am not producing any oxygen. I'm solely reliant on the oxygen that was in that breathing space. So I need to now start looking at the, uh, the oxygen. Um, and you need to also remember that the different oxygen gases um, also sit differently. So generally, um, uh, the oxygen itself will, will move to the top and your carbon dioxide will actually move down. So what you should actually see is you should actually see this carbon dioxide slowly making its way to the stairs and then down towards the water. And you should actually see these fill up um, um, predominantly with uh, carbon dioxide and you'll see the, the oxygen actually raise. Now as you start moving into hydrogen, the hydrogen will actually push up. So you'll just have these layers of different gases um, and it's a major part of the game to just manage the, uh, the gases. Um, and to move your gases around. And as we develop the game, uh, develop the series over the coming weeks, you'll see how we, we decide and move those gases around. So let's actually just build some beds at the moment. So we've got these guys uh, to sleep. So there's two, and I want to, what, night time? Um, and I actually want to build one more. Uh, And I'm just going to build it over here for the time being. And this is only temporary, but I'm going to assign it. So by clicking on the bed, Joshua is the snorer. I'm going to assign. I need to wait for it to be built. When it's built, I can assign it. So you can see these guys, um, Stinky Marie, um, are not getting any sleep because Joshua is so, so noisy. Um, because I need my resources at the moment and I don't actually need coal, so every time he eats a resource, he actually, um, he leaves coal. All right, so these guys, and this will actually, if you go up to the top now, the jobs, we'll actually work on the jobs a little bit later. Consumables, how they're actually eating and what they're eating. Vitals, as much as the stress level is low at the moment, you'll find that their stress level will actually um, uh, actually increase. I'm pretty, I'm surprised that Marie's got the stress level. She's the only one that's actually sleeping well at the moment. So we've made the bed. This one's actually gonna be Marie's bed. Because she's the, uh, the snorer, so this way, these guys should actually get a, uh, a restful evening. What we actually want to do, as I said, uh, now we're actually going to build some uh, some items to actually produce oxygen. Um, but the other thing we want actually want to do is start our research station. So by starting the research, it means that we can very quickly uh, uh, start looking at uh, developing uh, other things. But we need the um, both the um, uh, the power to actually sort of start first before we actually move in. So the way we're actually going to generate our power is through the the power module number three, and we're going to get a manual generator. Oh, we probably just haven't got it. So we're actually going to build it down here. So what we're going to do is actually first of all we're going to build a microbe musher. We're going to build a manual generator. 
and we're going to build a couple of small batteries. And then we're going to run a wire between the power switch of the microbe musher all the way through the power generator and the batteries themselves. And what that will allow, now we're just putting the tiles at the floor. What that will allow, it will now allow power generation. And it will also allow the, the opportunities to start generating food. And we've got a little bit of food here that we can actually cultivate. It's got oxygen and these will actually grow, but we're actually gonna grow our own, obviously, um, ability to, to have food. Next thing we want to do, as we said, is we want to actually start growing, uh, making sure that we have some oxygen. And the oxygen's actually going to rise. So they'll start building that. At the same time now, I will start uh, to build another layer. And we'll go in, so I'm just I'm um, staying a little bit away from the oxygen, but that's a personal choice. And we'll do the floor tile. And this will be where we start generating the first lot of oxygen. If I do F1 now, you can see that well oxygenate, oxygenated through here. A little bit, uh, it's still breathable, uh, but it's dropping a little bit at the, the top, just the oxygen hasn't gone through. And the small amount of uh, carbon dioxide and a little bit of chlorine actually. Um, we don't have a lot of carbon dioxide at the moment, it is uh, pooling at the bottom. We do have a lot of uh, hydrogen on the left hand side. Uh, obviously, that's the water carbon dioxide and oxygen as well. So you know what, I'm actually quite happy with this setup. And as we start cutting into this area here, we do have quite a, a large opening that we can work into. So, so with the uh, moving into the oxygen, so number two, we've got two ways. We've got a powered source, which is an oxygen uh, deoxygenator, um, which converts algae into oxygen. And then you've got your terranium, which is um, what we're actually going to build. But we actually need farming first. So now we're actually going to build our first scientific research station, which we'll actually have here. We've got the power there, actually I'm going to, yeah, no, I will put it at the, at the top here, just so we can also show running the power. So we start off with a number, bit of food. This is a great opportunity as well. So now that it's actually cycle three, um, your printing pod for your duplicates is now available. So I'm comfortable uh, at this stage, we've got a little bit of food is to get a fourth, but I'll hold off around about then. You don't want to get too many duplicates because they will obviously consume more oxygen. They'll consume more food. So let's have a look at what we've got to offer. So we've got three. We've got a level six runner, Adder, Adder's back, um, a level two chef, and a level seven physician, two learning, seven uh, medicine, uh, five 
uh, athletics. Um, to be honest, there's nothing I really like here. I may go for Adder, but it's still early in the game. We've got plenty of time, so I'm actually just going to reject them all. Sorry, guys. Um, and we'll probably wait another cycle or two, and we'll get another couple of opportunities. Now that the research bench is also finished, we're just going to run a cable up. So let's go to power, wire, and we're going to run that cable up to the top. So in this case here, I'm actually going to run it through the, the floor and then straight up. And then run it this way. And that way I can just keep running the cable through as we, we build more things. So carbon dioxide is dropping down to the blow. You can see um, it's dropped a little bit, but you can see the good oxygen has now come up. So their bedrooms and that where they're going to sleep, they're going to be well oxygenated. Um, it is important if you are using your, your bedrooms at the top, they still will sleep there, but if the oxygen levels are poor, it will also impact their stress. There are other things such as the, in the decor, um, as you learn them, you can also rec uh, reduce the stress. But in the early part, um, stress isn't sort of posing um, uh, a lot of problems in the in the early days okay so we're now just waiting for that to all be connected this should be the last little bit and now you've got a functional research bench so generally they will take turns on doing the research but in the jobs um, you can drop the jobs tab and where it says research, you can focus. So obviously Joshua is our scientist. Um, and in this case here, you actually want Joshua to um, to probably do most of the, the research. But you don't want him to solely. So you've got learning zero, learning zero. These guys actually don't add a lot of value into the research. So you want Joshua to do most of the, uh, the research work. Um, and that being said, you know what? I've got enough people here. I probably don't want Joshua to do the, the digging or the mining. So let's grab Joshua, and you know what Joshua, you can dig, I'll let you off of digging, and that's about it. I think the rest is, is fine uh, for the moment. Now I've got a lot of these things eating resources at the moment, so um, someone might say that I'm silly for this, but I'm actually just going to kill off a couple of these on the next day, just so, um, because I'm not going to use coal this early in the game, but if they're eating things like copper, if they're eating algae, uh, they're eating resources, I'm not sure what, um, um, but I want to kill some off so it doesn't actually sort of cut too deeply uh, into... And we're remembering we're also doing the oil, up, uh, oil update, um, which would mean that we're actually going to... Oh, look at that nice little seeding into the polluted water there. Um, so obviously oil is going to play a, a big part in this update. Oh, what are you doing, Joshua? Oh, I've put the wrong person in here. Okay, so let's... We'll fix this one. So this one should have been Joshua's cot. Okay, it's the morning. We'll fix that one for the next one. So, I actually want to attack these things. Just to kill them off a little bit. As I said, I've probably got some people watching this video cringing, going, What are you doing? Um, so I'm not going to kill them all off. Um, and let's start our first research. So we've got the research, click on the research, and the best one I want to do is farming, and then that will allow me to create my first uh, algae. So close that. And then we can get in and actually start the, uh, the research. So we're doing okay. Storage isn't full at the moment, but I have no doubt the storage will actually be full. Uh, quite soon. Now 
Now as we're building our algae, we're actually going to need water. So before I even start pumping the water, I'm just going to take the easy option, um, which is to create ourselves a little uh, water pump. So we just go into plumbing itself. We've got a pitcher pump, and we should be able to, if it fits, should be able to just dig in here. Yes, it does. Um, it'd be nice to put it... Uh, it's not going to be that easy for me, but I can actually just drop it here, and this will let me actually get my um, my water bottles, and this will be a good temporary solution uh, whilst we're uh, whilst we're actually starting off our colony. So some people may jump in and actually start uh, building a. Uh, an algae deoxinizer right away um, and you can um, it does take power uh, the effects are obviously oxygen a little bit of heat um, and the decor but um, obviously when the uh, so obviously converting the algae with the algae terrain it doesn't uh, doesn't come in at the moment it does okay so algae and water so it does use your water um, Uh, same and creates that but it does create carbon dioxide um, oh sorry minus the carbon dioxide it does have the heat of 75 and also the day core so in this case here um, uh, creates more oxygen so here it's just like having a, a mix of them this actually reduces your carbon dioxide as well which is what we actually want to do but as you can see it only um, has a small amount of uh, of oxygen. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to have a mixture of both. So the first thing we're going to do is just build the, the powered one and then we're going to have the plants uh, on the either side of that. So it means that this would be creating the, the carbon dioxide and then we would actually have the plants which would actually take away the carbon dioxide. Now we run the power. So we're just running down. So at the moment, the same thing with our reports. We're generating no uh, no oxygen at the moment. So just keep looking at this. We're now into cycle four. So we're actually losing 116 kilojoules at this stage because it restarts each night. Um, so you need to look at that. You need to obviously, as we said before, keep on pressing F9 to have a look at your germs to see where your germs are actually um, being contained. Wow, Joshua's covered in germs. Um, so let's just get in there with the disinfectant and tidy that up as a priority. Well, wow. because um, if the germs get out of control, um, then it's really going to hurt things. The next thing that you can actually look at is under the medicine. You've actually got a wash basin, and that will actually prevent the germs. So what we're going to do is actually stick the wash basin here. Um, and it means we're going to wash our hands... I'll wait for that to be built and then I'll explain the wash basin. You can see the germs have actually sort of um, um, started to pile up a bit, so we do need to do a little bit of cleaning. look at Joshua because he's a level four in, in learning he's been able to do the first research which is uh, which was farming so now we're actually going to go into plumbing because that will come uh, super handy uh, as we're sort of uh, building we're going to go the, the way we're going to do it is we're actually going to do the plumbing then we do some power regulations uh, ventilation decor and some advanced research advanced research allows you to have the more advanced research bay but by the time we get to there we'll definitely have some more duplicates uh, alright alright so they're just doing all hands on the cleaning station at the moment, well overdue. 
And we're probably lucky we didn't have a uh, disease outbreak. You can also set the priority. So, as said before, it is a steep learning curve and I even going through this tutorial, I realized in some cases, maybe going a little bit quick uh, for people starting at the first time. But at least this way you've seen it being built from scratch. We focused on the power and the research. We have the accommodation. We are now producing the oxygen. We have a water source that we'll need for our plants in a second. And now that should create stability. So just still keeping an eye on things here. So the oxygen's okay. We still have good oxygen levels here. And we're now we're starting to get a, uh, a bit of a pile up on, on carbon dioxide. Just gonna close these off. Um, really good tips, so make sure you um, you focus on the on the tips as well. We've got a couple of little compartments here that we'll slowly build build into. So what we want to find is we want to find an area that we can designate for our um, polluted. Um, polluted water. So we see one confinement area that's already created, um, but it's surrounded by slime. So I don't want to go there now, um, but potentially I will definitely access that area a little bit later. Um, but I am going to start creating polluted water, and I already have. So I've got polluted water here at the moment uh, that I haven't got a space to get into. So what I may actually do is uh, what do we got down here in the granite? Okay, so here's the two of the creature. Joshua now has his own home, so we're happy there. Alright, so now it's night time. You can do one of two things. You can actually hit the speed up button to go into the next day. But as you can see, the research is finished as well, so I've got more more options which was the food so what I actually want to do is now I want to create these uh, algae um, and oxygenators so I'm actually going to create um, just a couple here which will also as it says get rid of the um, carbon dioxide so we're going to put three here like so and hopefully that will reduce the, uh, the carbon dioxide the other thing that we actually want um, which I don't think we have at the moment, which is, yes we do, the compost bin. So what the compost done is it takes the polluted dirt and actually puts it into to fertiliser. Um, but it does actually pollute the air as well. Um, so let's just click on it. Um, so the effects are fertiliser, a little bit more heat uh, stored. So it, it takes polluted dirt um, and then converts it into into soil. So we're just going to create that and park it over the the other side here. And we've got so much sweeping to actually do. So I want to put a little bit of a sweeping task in here. So click the sweep, which is K, and then just hover over. Um, and get them to kick, pick up this stuff. The more stuff on the ground, the more the hatches, which are those little things with teeth, are going to go around and actually uh, start eating things. Okay, so you can see the hand washing now is being used. Important thing that you've got, actually got here, and I'll just slow it down, is on top you've actually got an arrow. Um, a lot of people see this and just think it's part of the, uh, uh, the I guess, the, 
the whole cosmetics but what you can do is at the moment because the arrows are set both ways theoretically they are going to wash their hands as they go backwards and forwards and what I actually want um, so they wash when they're actually dirty and that way because this is where the storage area is they're actually going to wash their hands and make sure um, their hands are washed before um, they put stuff in there now it's not going to solve the problem if I do F9 if the dirt is polluted they're still going to put diluted polluted dirt in there so the hand washing doesn't wash the materials we actually use other things for that so one is the compost bin and that will um, take away polluted dirt um, and what you could do just to make sure that the polluted dirt isn't sitting with with other areas you could um, create another storage area here um, and once it's finished just put your polluted dirt or polluted sources in there and that way you're starting to separate your materials Now the thing I'm not completely happy with here in the in the design is as things are being moved and I'm cutting the debris is actually falling straight into the water so that's actually a poor design on my behalf what I potentially should have done is on the final stairs um, is made sure the dirt just fell on the ground um, and that way I'm not getting any polluted do um, dirt falling into the water and destroying almost my only water source that we have at the moment. Um, so we're actually just going to speed this up because we want these guys to um, just start picking up a lot of this stuff that's sitting around. Okay, so we've got a new one here, but what we want to use this for, as we said before, it was actually for so by clicking down here we'll find exactly what we want to put in there we want to put dirt polluted dirt and that's what we wanted to drop in there and that's as I said that's just going to solely keep your polluted dirt um, away from the rest and start polluting up the the whole system now these guys are nearly full up here so we're just going to build one more And the same here, you can start seeing with the hand washing that uh, the water's fine, but the polluted side is getting uh, a little bit full. Okay, we're starting to get there. The uh, algae terrarium is now uh, is now good. We got plenty of electricity, and we're not using a lot of electricity. If we actually do our reports, um, we're still a little bit low. Um, as you can see here the oxygen generation so we're not um, we're still expelling more oxygen than we're actually making so we need to sort of correct that um, uh, but we do obviously have some um, oxy light as well which is uh, helping us uh, on that side um, coming into night so they're actually going to go for a sleep uh, soon I'm just going to get them to focus on the sweeping and then we'll start the next uh, next lots so let's have a look at the oxygen oxygen levels as you can see are starting as much as it's still oxygen it's still breathable you can see that it's uh, the shade of blue we're starting to get more and more so one thing we can do, and we probably will, is we're actually going to get these algae uh, terraniums. Once again, this is in early days. They can be, re they won't be completely replaced, but you can replace them. And I'm just going to put one up on each floor, and that will help just make sure that we get the uh, the oxygen levels up there as well. So let's just create two more, um, uh, just to to help with that area. I'm not worried about the carbon dioxide down here because that's exactly where I want to store it. And as we chew through the water. Um, we will definitely keep on chewing into that area as well so you can see him bottling his water he's got plenty of water so let's just drop another algae terranium here we'll just keep it right on the uh, on the outsides and that will just 
help and we're going to have another one here we're going to have it uh, once again just on the outsides because that's I mean you'll find things are just pulling in the, in the corner and that should be enough actually all right as they head into to bed this one will just be everything What do we got? We've still got two more of these things, so I'm definitely feeding them. I'm going to have to um, knock these on the head. What? Maria's a sleepwalker, is she? Or has she got a... What is Maria doing? Going for a midnight swim. She sleepwalks, does she? No, she's just a workaholic. So this is nearly full, so we're going to actually have some... What is she doing? She's like a sleepwalker. Insomniac. Probably like a lot of us... Okay, so I just want to attack these guys while they're here, so... I'm going to leave the one at the top, because at the moment he can't eat too much. But it's the, the one at the bottom was definitely eating a, a, a little bit more. So we're just going to build these last two uh, algae terraniums on the right, on the left, I should say. And we'll do the one at the top. All right, we're starting to... Um, as we can see there, we're starting to get some pollutants. We need to do the research. So we finished the research for plumbing and we finished it for ba basic farming. So what we want to do now is actually do it for power generation, which will do larger batteries and advanced research. We're actually going to do advanced research. Uh, might do it now, actually. So it's, it's a short one. Um, but as I can see here, because um, of the pollutants here, I really do need to focus on getting this uh, cleaned up. Um, because I've got nowhere, I've got nowhere to stick this uh, pollutant, so that's going to be my next focus. But you know what? It's now been uh, over 30 minutes, 30, uh, 40 minutes. Um, I just wanted to do obviously the startup. I hope this uh, episode one for people that are starting very basically I hopefully there's uh, been some really handy tips as I said I've watched a huge amount of uh, YouTubes and videos on this um, and they've been a plethora of help there are some amazing people out there doing uh, tutorials and videos but I also find a couple of things is they've either got it on a speed run or it can be overly overly complicated so let's just do a final recap um, obviously the focus that we actually had to start off with was oxygen, which we've got down the bottom, uh, water, which we've generated the water, um, and our food, which we haven't started to produce food yet, um, but we've certainly got the food, and then obviously, as we said, a, a toilet because they're coming in. Um, I do have a pollutant problem at the moment, and very quickly, um, that is going to bite me. So I need to very quickly... Um, design an area um, where I can put my pollutants um, and the catchment um, and I will do that I will do that very quickly by building here and building a little tank where we can uh, store the uh, the first lot of uh, pollutants um, so it's not going to be overly hard um, it may be a temporary tank that's okay we can also always uh, rebuild it but we've got our plumbing now 
Um, we've got our bottle dispatcher, and we've now um, we haven't gone in, but as we now go into further plumbing, we'll be able to build the uh, the liquid pump, which we can. So we can actually now start pumping water. Um, but without any further ado, I'll actually wrap it up here. Um, thank you very much for wa watching the session. I hope it's been uh, uh, useful. I will continue these sessions now um, for the next six weeks. Remembering this is also your colony, so if there are specific things that you want to see, um, please do not hesitate to write in the comments. The comments have been extremely helpful for me on other episodes. Um, don't forget to hit the, the like, and if you like what I'm doing, um, feel free to hit the subscribe as well uh, as I do a couple of these episodes. So I'll be focusing on this on six weeks, uh, uh, as we said, until we come up to the next update. Uh, as And we'll also focus on a couple of other games as well. So from me, thank you. Have a great time. Um, and have a, an amazing time also building your colony. It is such a fun, enjoyable game. And there's hours and hours, as I said, of playability. Not, it's not a one game, build your colony, that's it. Um, even for myself, and I'm not a, a, not a long-term player, this is probably about my third colony, and every time I learn things. Um, all right, thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time.